This is a four-part series of Rainbird Corporation's top 10 factors for Rainbird's 100% specification compliant to our path installations. In making this video, the ESP LXD controller installation, programming, operation, and troubleshooting manuals were referenced. The manuals can be downloaded from rainbird.com. The right hardware installed according to the high specification standards is what it takes to ensure a 100% Rainbird specification compliant two wire path installation. Demand that every new two wire installation is 100% Rainbird compliant. It's true, Rainbird 100% compliant two wire path installations cost more upfront. The payoff is years and years of trouble free operation. Improperly installed two wire systems can, over time, present costly loss of landscaping, labor troubleshooting chronic wire path issues, labor repairing or bringing substandard installations up to spec complete replacement of poorly installed systems, even damage to the controller as a result of major problems on the wire path. The top 10 factors required to achieve a 100% Rainbird compliant to wire path are the design, the as-built, maxi cable and colors, splices, decoders, valves and solenoids, surge protection, grounding, tools, and training. First up is part one of the series covering design and as-builts. 100% Rainbird specification compliant to our system configurations are configured as stars, loops, or star loop combinations. Shown is an example of the star configuration. This is an example of a loop configuration. Our last two hour path configuration example is the star loop combination. Let's define the term critical path. A critical path is the distance from the furthest decoder on the two-wire path to the ESP LXD controller. Critical paths limit the overall length of the two-wire path based on the configuration and the gauge of the maxi cable. Critical paths with 12 gauge maxi cable in a star configuration have a maximum distance of 2.63 miles. The same 12 gauge maxi cable in a loop configuration can reach as far as 10.52 miles. For secondary wire runs, the distance between the field decoder and the valve should not exceed 450 feet when using 14 gauge wire. A detailed as-built is essential any time troubleshooting is involved with a two-wire path. A detailed as-built should show the exact location of each splice or valve box, decoder, LSP1 surge protection device, and ground rod or grounding grid. Detailed as built should also show each decoder address, the type of each decoder, the location of the two wire pass and the secondary wire pass, whether it is a star, a loop, or a combination configuration, and the unique colors of the maxi cables on each separate wire path. The second part in our four part series is maxi cable and colors and splices. In making this video, the ESP LXD controller installation, programming, operation, and troubleshooting manuals were referenced. The manuals can be downloaded from rainbird.com.